us stand in a prayerful moment for the children who were murdered during the past two days in Connecticut. Please let us stand in a prayerful moment. Amen. Love of my heart. Similar to Bethlehem and Nazareth. This is why when talking about Jesus, we often said, Jesus in Rahab bin Jama'atna. Jesus, Jesus was one of us. He talked our language, Aramaic and Syriac. That was before we adopted the Arabic language. He ate our food and practiced our tradition. Ignatius Hazim, Patriarch of Antioch and of all the East, was born in 1920. He grew up in a pious Orthodox family. At an early age, he traveled to Beirut and lived with the late Metropolitan Elias Salibi at the Archbishopric of Beirut. After he finished his secondary education at the Three Hierarch Secondary School, he enrolled at the American University of Beirut, from which he earned a degree in philosophy. In 1942, he and Metropolitan George Kudur and Albert Lahan established the Orthodox Youth Movement, which is now a powerful spiritual force in the Patriarchate of Antioch. From 1949 to 1953, he studied at St. Sergius Theological Institute in Paris. Some of his professors were the late Proto Presbyter Alexander Schmemann and Proto Presbyter John Meinberg. He was one of the founders of Sindusmos, the worldwide brotherhood of Orthodox Jews. That's what Sindusmos means. While in Beirut, he was the principal of the Annunciation Orthodox School. In 1961, he was ordained Bishop of Palmyra, which is in our country, Tidmore, and patriarchal vicar. And in the following year, he was sent to the monastery of Balaman as superior and as dean of the theological seminary of St. John of Damascus, which was founded and financed by the Archdiocese of New York and all North America. I was fortunate to be present at the dedication of this beautiful school of theology. With the dedication from North America in 1970, his Beatitude has published a series of theological books and numerous articles. He earned honorary doctorate degrees from the Sorbonne University. St. Petersburg and Minsk Theological Academy. In 1966, I believe from St. Vladimir also, in 1966 he was elected by the Holy Synod of Antioch as Metropolitan of Latakia, Laodicea. On July 2nd, 1979, he was, he was elected by the Holy Synod of Antioch and I, was, I attended that meeting as Ignatius IV, 
Patriarch of Antioch and of all the East, and enthroned on July 8th of the same year. Of all the Orthodox Patriarchs of Antioch, he was the only one who established in 1988, during a most difficult time, during a most difficult time in the history of Lebanon, an Orthodox University to realize his vision to serve Lebanon, the Arab East, and the Orthodox immigrants all over the world. Patriarch Ignatius had no worldly desires and lived like a monk, not in isolation, but in society to help others and minister to them. He often said, and I quote, you are an orthodox indeed if you love the other and see yourself through them as a citizen. He never differentiated between Christians and Muslims. He was rooted in his Eastern Christianity, which began with Jesus and disciples in Jerusalem and spread to Antioch and from Antioch to the whole world. In the book of Acts we read, the disciples were called first, called the first Christians in Antioch, Acts 11.26. Patriarch Ignatius believed that we are the brothers of Christ. The West received its Christianity from us. However, Christianity today is in need to rediscover its Eastern roots because Jesus fought in Jerusalem and was buried in Jerusalem. And from Jerusalem, his glorious resurrection was proclaimed to the whole world. Patriarch Ignatius did not own a house or land or a vineyard of grapes nor an orchard of others. He never carried money in his pockets and never had checking or saving account in any bank. He never cared for himself or his family. Everything he received, he gave to the church, its institutions, schools, and the University of Babylon, which was the fruit of his labor and his joy. Patriarch Ignatius IV left at Babylon footprints, which the store of time cannot erase. We hope and pray that the Holy Spirit will inspire the fathers of the Holy Synod of Antioch to elect a worthy successor of this man, a successor who will follow, who will not follow only in his footsteps of Ignatius, but leave his own footprints on the eternal rocks of Balaman. His beatitude, Patriarch Ignatius IV, was a working man. Our Lord said in John 5.17, My Father is working still and I am working. Patriarch Ignatius often said, I learned my theology from looking at the faces of people. In a tahdiki, he was 
He was not an ivory tower theologian, but a man who wiped the tears of the afflicted and instilled hope in the hopeless. May his soul rest in peace and surely his memory is eternal. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.